Aloha, my name is Koda. I'm a Filipino, Egyptian, Ethiopian boy who lives in Hawaii. I've been here since I was five years old. This island is my home. One place that I know will always be my home. There's something special about this place that draws people to it. It's the spirit of Aloha unconditional love. You feel it the moment you walk out of the plane. It's not by coincidence, it's not by chance. It's about the certain position it has on the earth and the way that the ancestors respected and cared for this land and understood and acknowledged and embodied this land. If you're a Haole, a stranger, if you come to Hawaii, you better have done your research. If you haven't, I don't wanna say I disrespect you, but I do. I have so much disrespect for you. Because people come here from different places, mostly the mainland, the continental USA. And to be more, to be blunt and honest, I'm talking about Caucasian Haoles, Caucasian strangers. You're not European, but American white people who come here and they solicit and disrespect this land by not caring about it. Not treating this land as if they're tre that, that's as if they're walking on their own their own soil maybe they don't even re respect their own soil maybe they leave trash all over their houses but that's a them problem and they should not be bringing that energy here there's so much trash on the beaches so much trash on the beaches tourism is why Hawaii thrives and because of imperialism capitalism whatever missionaries who came here i'll get to that later but we couldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for them. And that I have to appreciate. There's a place for everybody and everything, but this is out of control. People come here absentmindedly and sign up for luau's and dolphin trips and watch hula and go to PCC, the Polynesian Cultural Center. And they think that they're living the dream. And then they leave their trash on the beach. They put toxic chemicals on their bodies and swim in our ocean. They touch the sea life, they touch the animals, they, they disrespect locals, and the list goes on. It, I've had enough. It is too much, and this has been going on for so many years. I have so many thoughts about this, and I'm trying very hard to articulate them proficiently without jumping around to many topics, but if you come to this island, do your research. Remember what we went through. The sovereign nation of Hawaii has been through hell and back because of your white skin. Not because of your white skin, because of your cold and divided hearts and uncentered minds. I'm not talking you specifically I am talking to you specifically, but I'm talking about your ancestors and the fact that you haven't learned from them. All right? Let me tell you a little story. Hawaii was one of the only places on the, in the world at the time that were still completely self-sustainable, which means no, nobody had to rely on ships and cargoes and planes to bring them food because they knew their land and they knew how it operated and they were connected to it. Everything flowed naturally in symbiosis. There was no pollution. There was no light pollution. They had direct access to source. They were living in harmony with this earth. And then Christopher Columbus came along, sailed the ocean blue and stepped foot on lands where he should have never have. He brought all his missionary friends. 
people who thought that they knew the truth. And they did, to an extent. They knew the truth for themselves because they needed that guideline to make sure they were following morals. The truth is not the same for everybody. God forbid you impose your truth onto somebody else. That's exactly what they did. Missionaries came here, they stripped Hawaiians, Hawaiians from their culture. Write your name on a piece of paper, then rip it up. Stole their land, forced them off their land, forced them from their culture, forbidden them from representing who they are. They criminalized the hula, the same hula that you pay money for to enjoy a nice luau for. You don't even know the history about it. You just enjoy the beauty of it and throw it away afterwards. And tell all you, your friends about it, family back at home. Oh, they're so pretty, whatever. Yeah, you leave all your trash on the ground. So sick of it, man. You come here, look up the culture. This is not, I'm not making this shit up. This is for real. This is for real. Missionaries came here and they said, Christianity is the only way. You guys are worshiping the devil. They stripped them of their names. They made them forget who they were. And with that, they lost connection to their source, to their land. And this is a problem that the whole America is facing right now. And this is why we are the most ignorant country in the world because we have been so so we have been led so far astray from our true nature from our ancestry that we become these diluted watered down absent-minded pawns almost half the kids today are depressed anxious suicidal, bipolar, the list goes on. You know why? Because we don't remember who the fuck we are. And it's because of instances like this. Religion equals division. When you try to impose your truth onto somebody else's. And God forbid you come to this island. And feed yourself and your own desires without really looking into where you are, without really being aware of what this really is. I love everybody, but my res levels of respect varies from person to person, and I can read right through you and see your intentions and see where your heart is at. I'm not Hawaiian, and I'm completely guilty of this too, because when I was a little kid, up till now, I didn't really, I didn't really know what the whole big deal about the Hawaiian culture was. But now that I'm old enough to really grasp it and understand, I'm, I'm, I'm so, in, I'm so intrigued to learn more and to 